So I'm going to show you how to do your rim now. You have some different options for your rim. If you run out of time and you're just working slowly, you could leave your bowl just like this. But this is something you should only do if this is the way your bowl looks on the last day using clay. Because this is a nice, this is a nice bowl. Let's take a little look at this. This bowl is getting firm because I, I made it a few days ago. And um, all it really needs now is to be smoothed a little bit better inside. But this is a nice symmetrical bowl. I could leave it like this and be very happy with it. I could still eat from it when it's all finished and everything. But since I have time, I'm going to add more to my other bowls. So one thing you could do is build on a design to your rim and just leave it showing. So I'm going to take some things that I've already, some spirals I've already used and show you how I did that. So I'm going to I already made these spirals, and I'm going to place these down here. So I'm adding two more, I'll do one on each side, two more small spirals next to this design I already started with the zigzag and two spirals. If I'm going to leave the design showing here, I just need to make sure that I really securely smooth these coils and spiral designs into the rest of the bowl. Now I'll be honest with you, this, this looks cool, but this is kind of a, um, a more scary way of building your bowl because I have seen bowls like this have accidents. I've seen pieces over here break off because this is more delicate. These pieces here are individually on their own sticking out from the base of your bowl and that just makes them more vulnerable, you know, like it could break. So a more challenging but worthwhile thing to do if you have time is to add on decoration to your bowl using scoring and slipping. To score and slip clay, what you do is you take, take a piece of clay that you have formed into a shape and score it by taking a fork and you can use just one point or you can use all the points to roughen up the edge and then you score the place you're going to attach it to so I'm gonna attach this right down here so I'm gonna score up this area of the clay as well now it's nice and rough I'm going to dip my fingers into some water the water is going to mix with this soft soft clay and make the clay almost like muddy and that's going to help it stick. And now when I place my design onto the clay where I've scored, I'll wiggle it around a little bit and it's going to stick to the clay and I can use my fingers and smooth around that area and make sure that everything is nice and neat. It's really important to do that with all the pieces you're trying to attach this way because if you don't, look, they come right off. These ones were all not scored and slipped. Even if I press it down and I think it's on there, guess what? Bing! Comes right off. It comes off so much easier too as it dries. So very, very important if you add any details and you do not smooth it to attach it to the rest of your bowl, you must score and slip or you will find it falls off completely as it dries out. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is just how you can use a sponge to help you smooth out your bowl even more than you, what you did with your fingers when you're totally done. So you can take one of these yellow ceramic sponges and you can just dip it into the cup um, of water that's at your table that you used for slip and squeeze out all the excess water. So it's just damp in your hands. It's not soaking wet. Okay, get all the excess water out. Then take this, and you can do this on a bowl that you have decorated, or you could do it on a bowl before it's decorated. It really doesn't matter when. And you're going to just gently use the sponge to smooth out your bowl a little bit more. You really need to be careful when you're doing this to hold the sides of the bowl. You don't want to be like flattening your bowl into a, uh, a plate. So you've got to hold the bowl on the other side. 
and just go over it to get out any lines and fingerprints that can come out. Okay, and that is about it. So today, if you feel like you're 100% finished with your bowl, just make sure that I know because I will have you do something different with your bowl today if you're totally done. Everyone else, make sure your bag, your bag is completely zipped when you put your bowl back into it. So at the end of class, the bowl goes in, air comes out, and you zip completely before we put it away. Okay? If in doubt, just do that. All right, thanks for listening. Bye.